So we've done 2D, is this computer capable of doing any 3D at all? Well, we're lucky, this is a Linux computer, I can run Blender on this. So this is Blender 2.69, one of the latest versions of Blender I can run on this machine. Anything newer will refuse to work, it doesn't support the OpenGL version it needs. So the processor in this machine has a single core running two threads at 1.6 GHz and is only 32 bits. This is anemic. The fact that it works at all is impressive. So this took about 3 hours 30 minutes to generate just a 1 4K image. I was curious, I decided to check on my current laptop and it took about 5 minutes on that one. It's probably slow, but let's try anyway. Let's see if you can actually do anything with it. Let's model one of those lamps. I must admit, there's a lot of things that are very different. And for example, grabbing anything instead of being done with the left mouse button, you would actually grab using the right mouse button. This is confusing, but you get used to it with time. So one of the things I do miss from Modern Blender, usually you just double click on one edge and you'd be, you'd be able to get all the loop, but now you have to go manually, so go and select, scroll, and then select the edge loop. This is a bit frustrating. This modeling technique is called subdivision modeling, where you start with basic geometric shapes and extrude them while they're under the influence of a subdivision modifier. It helps to make clean, smooth shapes with an adaptable level of detail, but it's better suited for man-made objects rather than organic detail. At school, we'd call it modeling in three, because the toggle for subdivision in Maya was at the three key on the keyboard. A lot of modeling in Blender can be achieved using modifiers. In this case, an area modifier that copies the model an amount of time to get the pattern. You don't have to copy it manually, and you can go back and change things on the original piece if you want to. And here it is. Here's the model. I think it's a quite interesting experiment, because this computer has less processing power than a lot of people's smartwatches, and yet I model something in it. I didn't need to use artificial intelligence to get it done. I just took polygons and modeled an object myself. And I think it was worth it.